Uh, I was, I'm very surprised, because I've only listened to Pod Save America, so that you don't have to. Thank you. <laughs> I don't watch it, no. um, and I won't again. <laughs> Never make that mistake. Yeah, this is Congresswoman Katie Porter on Pod Save America uh, talking about, uh, you haven't seen these clips yet, have you? I have not. Though? Okay, I want, okay, everyone right now, Dude. picture a congresswoman in your head. Okay. All right? Gotcha. Okay. Roll clip. That, that $600 oh. billion dollars will only cause more economic harm in this country and create a deeper recession with the kinds it's of John cuts that Belushi. they're making. <laughs> to state and local funding, including to, to some of the support for working families. This is fiscally irresponsible. The $1.9 trillion plan that meets the scope and need of what COVID has done to our economy is fiscally responsible. Scope, how about a wider huh? lens? Oh, yeah. yeah. Would you get into a fight with a Moo Moo clearance closet? <laughs> Lost. Oh my God. She looks That's... like she has a lot of cats. <laughs> yes. Wow. This is what's oh, remarkable man. to me. She is saying that $600 billion, right? You're talking about the right, Republican, yeah. the counter offer, I'm a lawyer, that they were talking about, $600 yeah. billion is fiscally irresponsible, but $1.9 trillion is responsible. Totally and it's fine. very hard to take it seriously it is. from a lady who uh. looks like the character in every sitcom who shows up in the middle of the night with curlers yeah. in her hair saying, keep it down! Yeah, she looks like she should have a rolling pin and chasing Tom and Jerry. Yes. The house. Exactly. <laughs> wow, what oh a... Oh my gosh. Yeah. I, I can't look at and that. And it's not like it's accidental. No, she knew she was going to be on a screen. Which, Bread it doesn't circuses. even make sense to listen yeah. to the Moo Moo Congresswoman when you hear her talking about... Just listen to this clip about deficit and tax cut. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense. The only disagreement on this really is coming from a handful of politically motivated people who, as we know, really? have no problem running up, the de running up the deficit with tax cuts for their corporate donors. I don't. What? She also doesn't understand that when you give people a tax cut, especially in business, you tend to create more business, which creates more tax revenue. OK, look, of course, I understand investment, right? right I understand right, it's a business yeah, owner. Okay, got it. They don't. Uh, because to them, investment is just more money, please, yeah. more money, please. Free. Here she is. Let's go to this really quickly. Katie Porter, Moo Moo in Chief, talking about investment and school and why we need to do this, showing no understanding of basic finance skills. If we don't find a way to, for example, invest in childcare, invest in getting schools open, make sure there aren't deeper cuts in state and local um, government and funding, then all we're going to see is more women stay out of the workforce for longer. Well, it seems. Oh, no. You, why, I mean, I'd say are if you, you work that. Yeah. <laughs> If you have that four-hour Viagra side effect, they just show you this video. <laughs> it's really hard for you to make the argument about more women being out of the workforce when you, as a representative and congresswoman, make it very difficult for us to tell the difference between a woman outside of the workforce or inside of the workforce. Right, yeah. exactly. Well, I, I have a problem. Are you workforce? Pro are you workforce <laughs> pro? Are you workforce contributory? Not I don't sure. know. What's it was tough on? for me to tell by your 1992 bottom of the line Kenmore <laughs> <laughs> and hummingbird feeder in the back of your cranium. Is, is there ever going to come a point in time in history when we get tired of hearing that we need more money for schools that we continue to oh, pour no. down okay, the drain for decades? Has anyone been following what's going on with in Chicago? Yes. Let's give more money to schools in Chicago. The teachers, they're not showing up. No. They're not even showing up. What do you do? This is a perfect example. Like with a business, for example, if you sign up, lotterwithcrowder.com slash mug club right now, okay? Do you it. can use the promo code Crowder Returns. You get $30 off. I go, Fantastic. hmm, what am I going to do with that money? Well, you know what? We need to pay for some travel so we can go do some super videos. We need to pay for, we need to work on the lawsuit because we're yeah. suing Facebook. That's kind of a big deal. Who can I hire? What can we do? What's the profit margin? Gerald, you're fired. But Aww. if you just say $1.3 to teachers who, well, what do the teachers do? I don't know. They're not answering their calls. Ah! Oh, what's another 1.3 trillion? How about we just? I was gonna say, but I mean yeah, figuratively. No, 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 gonna watch out. No, no, I mean no, figuratively, no. the public schooling system there you go. as a whole, Done. and maybe the for a while. A couple of reasons that Republicans should not support this, and that doesn't mean that you're a money grubbing billionaire like the people who work in this administration. Um, this is uh, one of the things that they have in this bill that you may not know. I think they refer to this as earmarks or mm. pork or porter. Um, 
is an education campaign to uh, address vaccine hesitancy. We also know there's a vaccination hesitancy in many communities, especially black, Latino, Native American communities. That's why we will launch a massive public edu cam education campaign to increase vaccine acceptance. We'll do everything we can to show the vaccines are safe. The hesitancy uh, is because of you. No. You and Cuomo and Harris, you said you wouldn't take the vaccine because it was fast-tracked under Donald Trump. Does anyone yeah. remember this? Yeah. You guys were the anti-vaxxers. And by the way, it's, by the way, it's African-American, Latinx, and First Nations. You racist piece of mm. shit. We would like to show African-Americans that it's safe by killing Hank Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was not a good way to start the program. Yeah. What was it? Two days later? Yeah, yeah, it was two, two days, days, days later. Like, yeah. I don't feel good. Yeah. Well, do you know what their do you know what their plan is too? And this will only cost a few billion dollars in the bill buried in there. What? They're going to deploy Kamala Harris to minority communities. What is oh, that's going to work? That'll, that'll convince work. them. Is she well, a weapon? Good. The deployment? <laughs> well, she's, she's like, I'm going to put you in jail. <laughs> she pretends to be each of them, so that should work out. <laughs> <laughs> She's just going in with syringes doing the Carlton. Hey, hey, time yeah. for your second dose. She's, yeah, she's <laughs> Look at my Chuck Taylor. Smoke I'm weed so cool. or I'll lock you up and you'll never see your kids again. <laughs> just doing catchphrases from shows she doesn't remember. <laughs> Did I do that? <laughs> it oh, also, by the way, stuff. this little bill includes a mandatory $15 minimum wage. That's oh, kind that's of helpful. a big deal. Yeah, yeah. The Congressional Budget Office itself said that a 15, million, uh, 15 minute minimum wage would lose us 3.7 million jobs. And this is something yeah. that's also really important when you think, I don't have the percentage in front of me it goes from state to state. Michigan leads most states. It was some. Yes. I've seen some states as high as like sixty percent of restaurants, and so, as oh, high yeah. as anywhere yeah. from twenty to sixty. But average is somewhere around thirty percent of a lot of these businesses are never going to never. reopen. Yeah. Done. And you want to burden them. Okay, let me give you a scenario. Let's say you run a bar and you've been shut down, and you finally, despite it being the most deadly month in COVID history, and liberal states are for some reason lifting restrictions. Let's just go with it. Who knows? Yeah. You're trying to reopen, and you go, all right, well, I guess I'll bring AOC back to you know stock the ice. And she's like, it's got to be 15 because of the bill. You board up your business and call it a day. Yeah. You never do it. People don't under – and by the way, wages have gone up. The average earnings yeah. went up more under three years of Donald Trump than eight years of Barack Obama. I think it was $5,000 for the average family yeah. went up. Versus in three years versus one thousand dollars in eight years. This is so you can talk about yeah. the minimum wage. You can talk about fifteen, but that's not designed to be something that sustains an entire family. People who are actually working jobs have been making more money than ever, despite the fact that Donald Trump was still a white supremacist, according to their press secretary. Yeah. And for some reason, we want to focus on a policy that we just shoehorn in there, which will guarantee that businesses which have been decimated cannot reopen. <laughs> it sounds great, just a bill, one point three trillion to go to America. Americans until you realize $15 minimum wage, until yeah. you realize that we just give money to teachers who don't plan on showing up. And by the way, people in this administration are totally fine with teachers not showing up. Let's just give them more money. It also was going to award, well, it is, awarding public universities and private, quote, minority serving institutions mm -hmm. $35 billion. Yep. Commonly referred to as the backbone of our society, yeah. small businesses get fifteen billion. Ah, so yeah, if you want to spur the economy, underwater Afro lesbian basket weaving centric studies <laughs> is the place to start. Right, and build the country. By the way, mm -hmm. I read the article on that thirty-five billion. The biggest concern they had was that uh, maybe illegal immigrant students who are not in this country legally would not be able to benefit from those grants. I will support this bill. I'll draft this bill tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Well, we grant citizenship to every single illegal alien in this country immediately, provided they're allowed to cross the Chicago Teachers Union picket lines and teach those kids. Watch Good Morning Mug Club live every Monday through Thursday at 10:15 Eastern.